This morning, a cruise ship crippled by an Antarctic storm is getting closer to home. Pounded by heavy seas, the Clelia II declared an emergency on Tuesday. Those seas are calmer now, and the ship is making its way to Argentina under its own power. CBS's Preetha Arla has more. This was a scene Tuesday as the Clelia II, a luxury ship that cruises the Antarctic, battled its way through high seas and heavy winds. The ship, just northeast of the South Shetland Islands and 500 miles from its port city of Ushua, Argentina, reportedly losing an engine after 35-foot waves pushed by 50-mile-per-hour winds, crashed over its deck, knocking out several windows and communications. The captain we have on the Clelia has gone to Antarctica 459 times, and he told me that he had never seen anything like this. The ship has 88 passengers on board, all Americans with a crew of 77. The passengers were not injured. Uh, there was no panic. The closest vessel, the National Geographic Explorer, was 20 miles away when the worst hit. We helped them reestablish their own satellite uh, communications uh, through the Iridium network. We actually sent them a uh, Iridium handheld satellite phone uh, using a rocket line. The Clelia II, which began the voyage 10 days ago, normally sails at 14 knots and was scheduled to return to southern Argentina today. Under reduced power, the crew now hopes to reach port Friday morning. I was amazed that this vessel survived these conditions, the sea conditions. I don't believe any other, many other ships would have done the same. Preeti Arla for CBS News, Washington.